Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing great. So today again I am back with one new cell script. Today we are going to learn how to check any error log messages if it's available in our Linux systems. Generally we check many error log messages like where log messages or some database level errors or even some application level errors. So how exactly cell script is going to help us to identify those errors and to send emails or to send some notifications so in this project we are going to just filter the error messages and in the next lecture i'll show you how exactly we can trigger the message or trigger the email whenever there is some error in our error message so for this project we need some prerequisite the first prerequisite is we have to know how to use grep filter so what is exactly grep the grep filter searches a file for a particular pattern of characters and displays all lines that contain that particular pattern the pattern that is searched in the file is referred to as a regular expression and grep exactly the grep keywords stands for global search for regular expression and print out so what will be the syntax of grep command you will be writing grep whatever the options we have available with grep as per our requirement we will be using the options then whatever the pattern we want to match that pattern name and then our actual file name so what will be the high level options grep options pattern and then your file name let us see so we have many options available in grep like hyphen c hyphen h hyphen i hyphen l n v o w many options are available here so now in these options we have to understand which option is useful for us and how to use those options so one option which you will be using a lot of time that is grep hyphen i what i means i means it ignores the case matching means if it's capital letter or a small letter it doesn't matter for you if you are specifying hyphen i and then giving any pattern it will match either it's a smaller case or either it's in larger case or even mix of a smaller and bigger or larger case both patterns it will be matching and displaying so let us see one by one so first grep hyphen i is to ignore the case of matching second option is grep hyphen c c is it will just tell you the count of appearance of that particular pattern in your file similar way we have option grep hyphen w w will be matching the actual word so display only the matched pattern by default grep display the entire line which has the matched string we can make the grep to display only the match string by using hyphen o option as well so let me show you these options first so here i have a file devops class.txt file so in this you can see many lines i have written now let us try so first what you want to do you want to grep devops keyword suppose so devops and then you are not specifying any options or sorry any options here so grep devops and then your file name your file name is devops class dot text so you can see devops is appearing in four lines devops 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 and devops but in the actual file if you see devops is appearing 1 2 3 4 5 few lines are ignored in our case right so we have total six times here but only four times we are seeing here now let us see how to ignore the case matching so we will be using option hyphen i now when you run what you see all the six lines which is containing devops is displayed here so even here you see mix of capital letter and a small letter mix of capital and a small letter these lines are also coming because you are telling ignore the capital or a small letters just show me the actual pattern which is matching now the next option which we talked is to check the counts like how many times this devops particular devops keyword is appearing in our devops class.txt file so this is telling 
4 because it is not doing any pattern matching right but it's only doing the count which is actually devops now suppose if you want to take the count and ignore the case then you can see now 6 because those capital letters were also ignored and it is giving us the total count so i hope now i and hyphen c and hyphen i option is clear to you guys now one very important option is hyphen o let us see first hyphen i i am doing this is coming now instead of i if i am using hyphen o option so what you see this a small devops this devops is appearing four times and in the previous examples you were seeing it is showing you the keyword matching plus all the extra lines which are written there but when you are giving hyphen o it is only displaying the actual match keyword in front of you so what is o print only the match part of matching line with each such part on a separate output line so you can see that hyphen o option now you understood now let us try with hyphen w option and see what hyphen w option is doing for us so what you see it is matching the words plus it is displaying the other contents also other other lines in the content as well so now this w is matching the whole word but hyphen o is matching the whole word and only printing the part where exactly it is matching now next thing is if you want to display the line numbers of each match like which line exactly these match are appearing so if you do hyphen n it will display you the line numbers and you want to ignore the case also together with line numbers then i also so now you see each line wherever it's appearing it is displaying the line numbers so hyphen n option is also clear to you guys now there is one very important option that is hyphen v so sometime what you want to do you want to ignore few of the keywords which is appearing continuously in your error log and you want to display the other messages so what you have to do in that case you can use hyphen hyphen v so what hyphen v is doing this will ignore this devops keyword and remaining things it will display so let us see this is ignoring the devops lines and it is displaying because this is capital letter but let us do one more thing i ignore also so now now if you see there is only one line in our this devops class text file which is not containing devops keyword otherwise each line is having devops that why that's why it is ignoring all those lines and only displaying the line which does not contain devops keyword so now I, I hope hyphen v option is also clear now let us understand one more thing this grip many options we have seen hyphen c h i l n v e and many other options but one thing you have to keep in mind is these all options can be used with combinations like together i have used hyphen v hyphen i together similar way you can try to use multiple options together as well one option which you will be using frequently is hyphen e which will be matching the regular expressions extended regular expression this hyphen e you can use as well so now let us try our script using this grep utilization for our script so we have a script error check dot sh so what is the script let us see from first line first line is our cbang line then bin bash this is fine this is clear for us that this is the first line where your script is starting what kind of script you are using so bash script we are using that's why we are specifying here second this in the error file i am doing cat of where log messages this line you write or not write this really doesn't matter here because in the next line what i am doing one variable i am doing is masked underscore error is equal to grep hyphen i it will ignore the case error and where we are searching 
in the file where log messages so what i am telling that ignore the case but show me all the errors which is appearing in where log messages now then i am just printing the error message and what i am checking i am checking if dollar question mark is equal to 0 means if the previous execution of command is successful means we have some errors in any of the lines so then in that case what you do you just print the message that found error in os logs and print the actual error else just message that no error in the message logs so right now this script looks very simple because we are not sending the emails or we are not notifying via slack channels or pager duty but in this script only if we add two lines like after this echo keyword if we are giving the mail address and then the actual error message it will send to emails as well similar way we have the pager duty or slack apis just put the curl command and the api address it will be able to send the error message or alert message as well but those concepts right now i am not discussing but in the coming lectures i'll show you how exactly we can send the alerts to our alert alert messaging systems or teams message or slack or pager duties so as of now just let us run this script and see how it's behaving so first let us change the permission ch mode ch mode plus x error check dot sh and then dot slash error check dot sh so what you see there is one line at written at maybe 10 30 time error occurred fetching the sync config open etc amazon this no such file or directory and then it's displaying the same message again so this is one line which is appearing in our where log messages and we can see this message here clearly so i hope you guys are now clear how to use grep command and how to find any error messages appearing in our error log messages so that's it for today's video stay tuned for more videos related to multiple different projects thank you so much guys for giving your valuable time